The mission given to me is to create a community of attendees at LSS, and then the word attached to that was quickly. So that was a very interesting email that came. So I want to uh, go to our vision and the how. I'm trying to connect what I'm doing with the how. Here. The how is we connect lean and systems thinkers to integrate their experience and amplify knowledge across disciplines. So I want to stay focused on the we connect lean thinkers, and we'll use the Temenos process to do that. Uh, my friends here, uh, Heather or Marion, Susan and Sri will give all the instructions. They have done this a few times, but I want to share two things. One is that uh, you will, one of you will be the 3,000th person to do this this year. Uh, Temenos as a uh, exercise is just flooding the market that I'm working on. Um, it's not uh, something I use uh, only at a team level, but mostly at executive level. And then I wanted to share with you what I learned as um, the key attitude to have in order for this to be successful. And so if you want to adopt this attitude, then I'll share it like this. Um, it's better to be interested than interesting. And if on a scale of 0 to 100, you're on either side, then I'm going to be at 51 biased towards being interested in the other person. And I hope that helps you. Other than that, it's all the magic that you guys are going to do. All right? So take it away, Heather. Can everybody hear me without putting this? Actually. Can everybody hear me now? <laughs> A word that all of us can instantly grasp and get on the same page is results. Not the kind of results that easily be hide in denial that we have, we've accomplished A, B, and C, but I'm talking about the results that are transformational. The results that the LSS wants to have in transforming communities, individuals, organizations, cultures, nations, put it on the list. I think it can be done. However, if a community like the LSS wants to deliver what I would call meaningful results, then they have to have a shared vision. To have that shared vision, that means that you have to have focus and all of your energy together towards that goal. So how do you do that? Timonos provides the capability for, you, for that path. The first thing, well, something that you want to do is to be able to articulate your own vision. And by that, I mean not just the vision that is on your paper that you know you want to accomplish someday, but that deep in your soul vision that is the compilation of your history, your values, everything that shaped who you are. That's the vision I'm talking. But the problem here is that we've got, what, 40 visions? How do we get all of that on the same page? So Timonos is a powerful tool that allows us to get on that path towards bringing all of our visions together towards that shared vision. Temenos is a compilation of education, adult learning education specifically, uh, psychology and coaching tools pulled together to, that has developed exercises that puts us on that path. The first exercise is always going back to our history. And this is really a right-brained activity that we're going to experience today that allows you to explore your influences and those influences that have shaped who you are today. And by that, I don't mean just our successes or our accomplishments. Those are the fun influences. But who we actually are, the influences of failure, of disappointment, of heartbreak, those are also who we are. So we have to pull in all of that together to determine our influences, how they've shaped us, and that is the context for you to be able to develop your personal vision. So that's a great tool for self-discovery, right? It's a wonderful cycle for personal mastery, but is that enough? 
I would say for a community, no, it's not. Because we already are a group of extremely self-actualized people. You're brilliant. You're successful. You, you have accomplished so much. But yet, we need to move forward as a community. So the way we're going to do that today is to create connections. We're going to identify, we're going to identify the influences that have shaped us, identify our own vision, and then be able to turn around and share them with as many people as possible today. And it's through those connections that you'll be able to develop a dynamic community that can take it to the next level of uh, what I would call the meaningful results. Susan's going to walk us through the exercises that you're going to complete so there's no confusion. And it is going to be that setting today, these next 90 minutes, this next hour of sharing, that's going to set the stage for you during the next two days to collaboratively be able to develop a shared vision together. Thank you. Thanks, Heather. Um, I, I uh, can't promise no confusion, but we're here to help as we go through this. So, uh, um, and as Siraj said, you know, this is a quick version of Temenos, and it's based on three simple steps of introspection, visualization, and articulation. And it really is all about connection. Um, I had an opportunity recently to do this with 500 women, and we did it in a very quick way, also in a very meaningful way, and it built an amazing amount of energy and community um, throughout this event. So uh, um, I feel very, very uh, hopeful and um, uh, optimistic about what's going to come out of this today and take us into tomorrow. So what we're going to do is um, take 10 minutes and go into introspection and visualization. So I want you to really think about what it is that you want to share with one another in terms of your influences of your past and your personal vision for the future. Sri's going to uh, give you some very specific questions uh, to think about while you're doing this introspection and visualization. I really want to encourage you to use images and draw pictures. It's not an art contest by any means, but kind of get away from words as much as possible. Um, kind of get away from that analytical mind and really kind of dig deep into who you are and who you're bringing to this conference over the next two days. Okay, so kind of think about that. And then once the 10 minutes are up, I kind of give you instructions on how we're going to share. Um, and, and get through um, the rest of this activity to make it as meaningful as possible for all of you to make those connections that we're here to do today. Okay, 